What's up, Dark Horse Crew? Today we are talking about external rotation scap depression. That doesn't sound very interesting, does it? So why are we talking about this? Well, we get a lot of questions about how to connect to the machine. I think people feel, they, they hear the structure, they hear legs only, legs and hips, it's legs, body, arms, arms, body, legs, blah, blah, blah. And it can get actually kind of confusing and we're all about making sure that, that things actually make sense. That's a, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. We're just talking about a skill. So what we are talking about with this external rotation concept is how we actually connect to the handle. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Can you get your body to connect to the handle so that you can, boom, drive with your legs? Because we talk a lot about legs, legs, legs. It's 60% legs, it's not actually 60%. It's like 54 point something percent. The point being, we talk a lot about using our legs and at the end of the day, what really matters is can your trunk support your legs and can your arms connect to your trunk? Huge issue, right? If you can't do that, then there's no way for you to actually apply force to the machine. So how do we accomplish this? Well, there's something that I like to do with most of my seminars and with most of the people that I work with when they're struggling to connect to their arms. How do, how do they feel that arm at the catch? And we're gonna go over that right now. So what you wanna think about is taking one arm out. So you're gonna take your left arm and you're gonna stick it straight out in front of you. Now, when we are talking about shoulders for the purposes of the skill of rowing, we don't worry about packing our shoulders back and down. There's not a whole lot of like safety or performance gain that happens from that. Most things where you're super heavy, yeah, we, we really do have to be concerned about making sure that those shoulders are pulled back. However, when it comes to the movement of rowing, what we need to be concerned about is simply connecting to the arms. So what I want you to think about is you're gonna take those arms and you're gonna put them out. You're gonna take one arm, stick it straight out, and now you are going to think about rolling your shoulder down. So not pulling back, but rolling. We call this external rotation. So you're going to externally rotate your shoulder and then you're gonna drop it. So you're really rolling your arm down and you're doing that without breaking at the elbow. You're simply doing it from the shoulder. You're rolling that arm out, okay? That's external rotation. Now, I want you to take this hand, your left hand, and you're gonna grab this lap, okay? This big meaty guy right here. It might not be meaty on you, but that's okay. You're gonna grab this guy right here. So arm out, and you're gonna roll down. And what you should feel as you do that is this gets tight. So this gets tight in your hand, and what you are trying to think about is getting that as tight as possible without pulling back. So shoulder reaching, and then roll down, and feel that get tight. Now you're gonna keep that locked, you're gonna take the other arm, you're gonna put it straight out, and now you're gonna duplicate that feeling on the other side. So now you're standing here like a zombie, right? But what I want you to be feeling is this. That movement is what's gonna connect you to the handle. Now it's very easy to practice this on the machine. We simply set ourselves up in the catch position and then roll down and get those lats connected. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So that is how we actually put it together on the machine. Now from there, all you have to think about every single stroke, now you can actually contemplate this arms, body, legs, legs, body, arms thing, or, or legs and hips and hips and arms. But what matters most is that as you get the handle, as that handle is pushing away from the body, that you are setting that tension in the lat. But so now we can actually talk about applying what we just did, that roll down, and we can actually connect that to the movement. So we can talk about legs, body, arms, arms, body, legs, or legs and hips, or hips and arms, and, and pick drills and pause drills, and how those all work together. Now, what you're thinking about anytime you push that handle away is that you are pushing away and locking that lat in first and foremost. You're not waiting until you get to the catch and trying to find tension and hoping and wishing and praying, right? We don't do that. We wanna make sure that we put ourselves with intention into good position because once you do that, 
you're gonna find great connection, you're gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy, the stars are going to shine, the sun will come out, the birds will sing, and butterflies will come flapping all over the place. So, as we're getting into this, guys, I want you to go, and, and I'm gonna give you an actual, uh, an action item here. This is your action item. I want you to, number one, go and hold the catch position for two minutes, okay? Two minutes, that's it. Set the catch position with the intention on rolling down, lats tight, elbows extended, all right? Just feel that and lock that in place. Next, I'm going to have you row hips and arms only, okay? So go ahead, in hips and arms only, you are going to take 40 strokes with hips and arms only. That should happen pretty quick. It shouldn't feel like a ton. And your sole goal is as that handle moves away, you are getting that lat prepped and tight not throwing the arms and then hoping that you'll find tension. Make sense? Guys, that is your homework today and that is how we ultimately connect to the machine. End of the day, that's the big picture. How do you be more effective when you are on the rower? And that's today's goal. So, go practice. Guys, make sure that you are heading over to darkhorserowing.com where we have training plans for athletes and we also have the Dark Horse Academy, our coaches platform to help coaches use this machine as a training tool because at the end of the day, that's what matters. This is just a training tool. All right, I'm not trying to convince you to be a rower. I'm just trying to get you guys comfortable on the machine and if you happen to love rowing, fantastic. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time on the Dark Horse Rowing YouTube channel. Make sure you click subscribe wherever it may be and guys, leave us a comment below. Let us know how we're doing and if there's anything else you want to see, we want to hear about it. Guys, we'll see you on the other side. Lunch break. So, <clears throat> I'm eating my territory foods. Man, it's delicious. Buffalo chicken salad and I didn't have to make it. That's the nice part. I could seriously eat this for every meal. All gone. Game on.